You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. This is Genergy Vibes with your host, Jen Russman. The innate power to heal is within us all. Genergy Vibes is your power hour for self-healing and awakening the powerful creator that is within us all. Jen creates a safe space as she gently releases residual trauma and pain energies instantly and permanently. She helps you feel lighter, calmer, and finally free of what she calls the trigger trauma loop. So please welcome the host of Genergy Vibes, Jen Rossman. Hello and welcome into your power hour here at Genergy Vibes. I'm your host, Jen Rossman, and you are watching live on Bold Brave TV. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I am so excited today. I know that we are always talking about self-healing and the energetics of healing. And when we are on a self-healing journey, there's a lot of work to do, right? But I am such a big proponent of making sure that you are laughing, having fun, and allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to experience joy while you are on your healing journey. You do not have to reach a level of healing before you can enjoy laughter, fun, and just really enjoy yourself and let go and allow yourself and give yourself permission to have fun. So we are all about having fun here today on this week's episode of Genergy Vibes. I'm so excited and oh my gosh, I'm going to give you a little hint. We are here today. We're going to, I'm going to take you back to the 1980s. I'm a big 1980s music girl. Who else out there is an 80s music fan, right? Do you remember Prince or the artist formerly known as Prince, right? And his song, Kiss. Oh my gosh, that was one of my favorite songs back then. Well, we are all about the kiss today. I have with us the official lipstick reader to the stars. Oh my gosh, Miranda Anita is with us today. She is incredible. She is magical. And we are going to have so much fun. We have live lip readings for you today. We are going to dive into some pop culture and some rumors in the Hollywood world. We're going to dive into Miranda's personal powerful creator journey story. There's so much lined up for you today and it is all about having fun while we are on this self-healing journey. So let me just tell you briefly, I met Miranda through social media and it was interesting because I didn't meet her directly. I actually, I've been working very hard behind the scenes to put this show together for you. And I was at the point where I was looking for some other guests to come on to my show. And I was in a group and somebody had suggested, Hey, go to this link and check out Miranda. And I was like, oh, what's this is interesting lipstick reader. What is this, right? I've had tarot readings. I've had other kinds of readings, but I never heard of a lipstick reader. So I went to check her out. And let me tell you, I went to her site and I was like, oh, I don't, there's no way I can get her on my show. Like she's a big deal. Like, oh my gosh, right? And so, but I said, you know what? I can get her on my show. I'm Jennergy Vibes. So I reached out to her personally. She got back to me. We set up a call. We met in person on Zoom. Let me tell you, we had an instant connection. It was a kinship. It was amazing. And I am thrilled that she has taken the time out of her busy, busy schedule and life to be here with us today. So with that, I would like to um, tell you a little bit about her, introduce you uh, to what she's all about. And then we're going to bring her on. So the magic of Miranda is what I like to call it. So with Miranda, miracles happen, lives change. Love spreads and beauty evolves. With the combination of ancient art, 
psychology practices, and a dash of magic, Miranda decodes a life's journey, beginning with a kiss lip print. So cool. Miranda has quickly, I mean, quickly become one of the most sought after kiss print readers, including Hollywood. As a kiss whisperer, she offers a unique holistic approach with proven results, all based on the anatomy and energy of a kiss. Miranda is a third generation intuitive, and she's also a retired Navy veteran who understands the universal signals and science hidden within every lip print. So without further ado, Miranda, thank you for being here and welcome to Genergy Vibes. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Hello, hello. Finally, hello. Finally. Hello. Can you, is your camera on, hon? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. It's not, I don't see you, babe. We need to I see your beautiful you. face. Um, is that better? No, yes, there you are. Yes, see, this is why we need to see you. You look gorgeous. Thank you. You know, calling in from Hollywood, everything is crazy here, so I apologize. I <laughs> no apologies necessary. Thank you for being here. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. So what I'd love for you to do is to, let's just start out everybody and let's talk briefly about the inspiration, the story behind the kiss, the good night oh. kiss, as we like to say. It's such a beautiful, tender story. The part that makes me cry. So if everyone can give me great vibes, so whoo. Absolutely. Gonna... Well, I am Miranda, the official lipstick reader. I am the Kiss Whisper to Celebrities Luxury Brand. But that's not how I started, obviously. I grew up in foster homes out on the street. My mother had a dual diagnosis and she had the gift, but back then it was more that you were crazy. So with that, living in foster homes, I found interesting that most of us, even those that didn't have parents, a kiss goodnight from a mom said you were worthy. You said I was loved. And so with that, we, the younger children, received kisses goodnight and were tucked in. So when I aged up, I gave a good a goodnight kiss to all the other children. So I was always fascinated with the kiss. It always meant so much to me. And then moving forward as a career, the kiss actually became a symbol of not validation, but a very painful subject. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. And so with that, I realized that the kiss would change my, my life. And I actually have a hanky from my mother that she had kissed many, many years ago. So I carry that with me. And what I decided to do is suffering through PTSD, it was very difficult for me to find my bearings, but like most of us, especially as brave women, we find our, our resilience, we find we can do this. But 9-11 just changed my life like so many other people. And what it did is it opened up Pandora's box. I thought I was fine. I thought I was doing great. I was University of Phoenix. I had a home. I was in a relationship. I had children, but I couldn't sleep. And I struggled mm -hmm. with these thoughts, but I thought it was normal. So when 9 11 mm -hmm. hit, oh my gosh, it just exploded and things just happened. And I was no longer that functional Wonder Woman. And what I found is that my emotions and everything that was locked up was coming forth. And it actually disabled me. It literally made me into a person that I couldn't take care of myself. I almost lost my home. My children moved in with their, their dad. My relationship was over. And I didn't know what to do. So thank goodness with the VA here in Phoenix, they were able to put me back together. And the best thing that happened is the psychiatrist who was um, helping me said, Miranda, you are disabled. You're not dead. Go do something. And so with that, it reopened. She gave me permission. And I hope with this segment, we're going to give so many women and others their mm -hmm. permission to be brilliant and to find a way to be able to, to, to get their skills. And so with that, with my PTSD hypervigilance, I actually used this, I harness, and I created the lipstick, the lip print meeting. And so with that, within 10 years, my company has grown. 
and we're going to share about what TV show I was on and what's next. So that's basically a full circle. And now I'm self-sufficient. I live in Hollywood. I live in Scottsdale. And my life is amazing. So, so amazing. And how, how far you've come, Miranda. We have to take a short break to hear from our sponsors. But when we come back, oh my gosh, stay tuned because we are going to share. Miranda is offering a free gift to one person. It's kind of a contest. So we will get into those details when we get back. And we are also, she's going to answer the three most sought after questions about a kiss. So stay tuned. We are live on Genergy Vibes here on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman, and we will be right back. The opiate epidemic has reached crisis levels, and with so many families affected by addiction, opiate-related drug overdoses, and death, the time is now to have a real constructive conversation about addiction that could lead to better prevention, treatment, and recovery. Alan Charles, author and keynote speaker on drug abuse and prevention, presents The Alan Charles Show. Alan brings a message of hope, sharing his unbelievable story of surviving a 24-year addiction to cocaine and and highlights from his memoir, Walking Out the Other Side, an addict's journey from loneliness to life. His raw honesty and courageous heart breaks the stigma of addiction and offers a unique perspective into the mind of an addict. Join Alan each week as he brings his listeners to a true understanding of the grip of addiction. It is only with this understanding that we can begin to heal. The Alan Charles Show, Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse. Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back to Genergy Vibes. I'm your host, Jen Russman. You're watching live on Bold Brave TV. Thank you for staying with us. So before the break, we mentioned, Miranda, you are offering a kind of a contest, a free prize to one lucky winner. You want to tell them what it is? Well, I was recently on a TV show, and what I found is that gifts are from the heart. So what I would love to share your listeners we are going to have a contest. Share this link, like this link, comment this link, and we will have one lucky winner who is going to receive personally this Tumblr. I mean, hello, bling bling. Oh, it's, it's the bling bling one. one. <gasps> Beautiful. Who yeah. wants the Tumblr? Get sharing and commenting. Awesome. Thank you so much for offering that, Miranda. I so appreciate that from my heart to yours. Thank you. So let's get down and dirty. Let's talk about, there are like these three sought after questions that people ask you all the time about who is the kiss for and all those types of things. So if you would be so gracious to please answer these three questions for us so then we can launch into the kiss itself. Well, the two most sought questions, especially in Hollywood is what if I've had Botox or my lips have been altered, or what about men? Do men do this? And then the third is, what if I've been in an accident, or my, my lips right. are, they're, they're small lips, and I'm going to go ahead and bust that myth right now, because let me tell you, it's the men. Men want to know, are they with the right person? What's next for them? How can they be a better husband, a better, mm -hmm. a better partner? 
and I tend to have the men kind of clamor up to the front. And so I get men and women and they want to put the lipstick on as well. That's been, <laughs> that's so fantastic and so fun. And, and I have to say my husband, Mike, those of you who know me know my husband, he actually did this and he, it was so fun and so funny. And so we did, he submitted his uh, lip print to Miranda and that was and really, really fun. And is very fortunate to have these amazing lips to be kissable. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. He's wonderful. And I did, I did speak to one of our producers, Tom, I was like, you should send in your kiss print. And he was like, ha ha ha. <laughs> so it's really good to know that this is for men too. And a lot of men do come to you and have this done. And I know you mentioned that you do, you've done this with children. So it's really available to anybody. And I love that you really speak to people who have their lips have been altered in some way, whether it's through injury or choice. So it's really, really cool that you can receive results regardless of the circumstances with your lips is what well, you're what saying. What happens is, because people ask me, oh, is it like a palm print or is it a facial recognition? What is it like? Right. And yes, it's the seizures. That's true. But the difference with your lip print, this is what's different and unique, is that your lip print is fluid. So what that means is knowledge, education, life is going to change your lip print. Maybe not the seizures, but it's going to change um, the journey. So you have the ability with your energy and your life choices to change anything and be who you are. Oh, and that's why we certainly connected because I'm all about tapping into our powerful creator within, right? And so and yeah. able to do that and powerful creator within and get into like the energy work and the healing are the one who decodes, right? Using the lip print. And so let's get into this. So tell me, tell me, tell me, what is this? Like what, what's in a kiss? I mean, you kind of just touched on it, but a lot of people think, oh, this is woo woo. This is, you know, like, but there's science to this. Is there not? Absolutely. And I want to share that there are lip print readers. There's nine, nine of us around the world. And what we all really is the seizures. So what that means, here are my cards, that I could send these cards to you. These are all 48, 200 different divots that you could read. So what that means is that with a lip print, you kiss a lip print, you have these cards, you have the ability to share your personality, your characteristics, your affirmation. So that's the science. It's actually a very scientific method. So therefore, there's very little woo-woo. What I bring to the table is I decode it. Great. So, Jen, I'm going to let you know. You're assertive. You're lovely. You're warm-hearted. You're kind-hearted to a fault. You give, give, give. But why is that? Why are you at this place? So I'll share your shadow self, and then I'll show your brilliance. So that's with the intuitive journey. And then what I offer is the predictions. Okay, great. So I, I closed the past. I have an amazing present. I'm ready. But what's in for my future? So what I'm able to do is with your kiss print and your permission to, to connect, I will share a prediction and help you get there. Ooh, that sounds kind of fun and juicy. Yes. <laughs> so amazing. I know we, we started my lip journey together and I thought that we were done. I was like, that was amazing. It was so thorough and just my mind was blown. And then you were like, no, we've got, you know, D, 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 D more to do. And I was like, what? Like, I mean, when you come to the table for this, you are giving like the full, I mean, this is like a full, full, full on <laughs> magical experience. And it, it's all based and starts with the science, the forensics training that you have. And then you come into it with your intuitive magical gifts. That's so beautiful. So guess what? We have to take another short break to hear from our sponsors. But when we come back, do not move. Do not move because we have two women who are calling in to do live readings with Miranda right now with us here. I'm so excited. So stay tuned here at Genergy Vibes. I'm your host, Jen Russman. You're watching live on Bold Brave TV. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? 
Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern <laughs> for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the B. BBM Global Network. Hey, hey, welcome back to Genergy Vibes. I'm your host, Jen Russman. You're watching live on Bold Brave TV. Okie dokie, are you ready? We are going on a magic carpet ride right now. We have a live caller for you. Miranda is going to do a live lip print reading with her very quickly. We are so excited. We have Deanna Evans from Arkansas joining us today. Deanna, thank you so much for calling in and being on the show. Be here with you. Thank you so much, sweetie. Hey, I want to introduce you. This is Miranda. Miranda, this is Deanna. Deanna, your lips have captivated me. I'm so excited. So with your permission, which you have given me, this is her signature. So what I need is the signature because there's so many souls. And right now, Jen is such a strong light worker that we had to be able to break through so I could connect uh, with Deanna. So the first thing is, is that she chose number five. Her question is decision. Decision is yes or no. So while I'm doing your reading, make sure you kind of think about um, your question because at the end, you're going to get your answer. Her color is blue that she's attracted to. Here is her first kiss. Here is her second kiss. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, perfect. So the first kiss that you have is actually amazing it's right in the middle you have one side um, open a little bit closed what that means is that your past has come full circle but it's not quite closed so that means that you still gravitate to family for decisions you still care about their opinion but because of your your lip print you are you're the one that forgives easily you're the one that people go to you are the the sound machine and because of that They'll have a strong relationship your family. Can you tell me one to ten? How close? Are you? I want to make sure we're connected. I I didn't hear you. She didn't hear your question. Okay, so I just want to make sure that we're connected. What I'm saying is that you are the the, the soundboard, you are the hugger, you are the go-to person, but family is still very important to you because you still have a strong connection. That That is correct. Okay, amazing. I just want to make sure we're connected. So most people want to make sure, well, what's going on for my present right now? So the kiss that you have is, again, one side is open, one side is closed. So the decision that you're making, whatever is something that's keeping you up at night, your kiss is lifted a little bit. But what that means is stand fast. It's not time for you to make that decision quite yet. And we're going to go back to that. The color blue is you're the best friend. I love blue and I love the best friend. But the little shadow self is that you are behind the scenes. You are the cheerleader. I'm going to move you front and center. 
I am going to make you the star girl. So I'm going to go ahead and pull your cards really quick. So Deanna, the first thing for you, the decision that you have to make, no, you are more than enough. You always maintain others' dignity, but you do not give that to yourself. The decision you make has faith. It's going to work in your favor. You are protected. You are protected with a angel from your past. Your time's arrived. You are here. You're ready to take off. And I love this card. This is you. What this means is <laughs> think back to what was it? What age were you when you were fearless and didn't have responsibilities? And you're like, I got this. So whatever age that is, go ahead and say that to yourself. I'm going to move you forward to where you are today. I'm going to give you the wisdom from your all the way from your youth, what you have. And you, here's the best part. You ready? Yes. You now have the checkbook, girl. You're fearless. You can do anything. You have the wisdom. You have the checkbook. So right now you are in a position and empowered to do whatever you want. Awesome. That's amazing. All righty. So here is your card for your future. It's time for you to aim. So get ready to make that decision. And with the angel, here is your chart. It's random. Trust. Trust the decision you're going to make because it's going to be in your favor. Beautiful. That's great. Awesome. Deanna, thank you so much for calling, and we really appreciate you. Thank you, Jen. Love you. Thank you, hon. Bye-bye. Love you, too. Bye-bye. That was fantastic. Fantastic. I love that. So do we have our next caller with us? Hello. Is this Shannon? Hi, Shannon. Hi, hon. We have Shannon Kerr from Ontario. We are international today. Woohoo! Woo Welcome to the show. Meet Miranda. Hi, Miranda. Thank you so much, Jen, for having me. You are welcome. We are glad you are here. So the first thing is she has given me permission, her signature. This is beautiful, beautiful Shannon. So I always ask for a selfie because I want to make sure that we are connected. This is her kiss print. So what she did is gave me a number. A number. She gave me permission, her past, her present. She's looking at career decision. And Perfect. her color is pink. <laughs> are you ready, my dear? That's right. All right, Shannon, the first thing is, is your kiss, it's a little one. It, it has a lot of punch. Do you all see that? Round and, and cute and like a button. So what that <laughs> means is that growing up, you were the one that hesitated. You were the one that watched. You were more that let other people do it first. You were also responsible. I also see with your kiss that you were like the little mom. You grew up pretty fast. You had a lot of responsibility. But you also were a good girl. There were very few things that were coming as a surprise. Can you tell me from 1 to 10 how close I am to connect to you? 10, girl. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All righty. So this is her, her present. So the past kiss that I love, both ends are closed. That means that you don't, you don't go back and ask anyone for, for permission. You have worked and you have got to a place that you are in amazing and you stand and you're independent. Love, love. So right now you're in a position to do anything, grow, change. Now, the second kiss is a little bit different. So your kiss is actually almost in a pucker. So we have three types of kisses. We have rest. We have, we have mwah. So your kiss is actually at the pucker. So what that means is you're ready for change. So the question you have is career. So is your question more, should I stay, should I go, or what's next? What's next? Okay, perfect. All righty. So the color you chose is pink. What pink means is that your femininity. So what you do is something to do with service, helping people. Pink is something that is actually your mask. So you have a, a lot of femininity, but you're strong. And so with your pink, it is your outward, but inward, you are red, you are assertive, you get stuff done. So with that, I'm going to go ahead with your career. 
So the first thing is you have evolved. You are ready to take your career to the next stage. You have the power to make the decision. Whatever you decide is going to work in your favor. As long as you love what you do, it's going to come to you. You're free. You're free of, to make this decision. Let go of obligations. Let go of responsibilities. You are now in a position to make that decision. It's time for new beginnings, though. So you need to really look at what's next for you. Accept that you are in a power position and ready for this one. Whatever you decide, <laughs> you will captivate. You are in a position to be in front of people. You should be speaking. You should be mm. um, in, in stages. You should be um, empowering and have a voice that's amplified. Does that work for you? Yes. All righty. So here is your future. So your card is rise. It's time for you <sighs> to rise above the clutter, above the the parts that is making you doubt yourself. And you ready for your future? Yes. Your magic word is believe. Oh. Believe in yourself. Believe it'll happen. It is all yours. Does that make sense for you? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank wow, you. Shannon. Wow. Thank you so much for calling in. We appreciate you being here. That was so beautiful. Rise from the clutter. I love that. Miranda, beautiful, beautiful job. We have to take a short break to hear from our sponsors. But when we come back, oh my gosh, we are going to dip into the rumors of pop culture and get into some celebrity gossip. Woo, we're having fun today. Stay tuned. You are watching Genergy Vibes live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman. We'll be right back. Tune into It's All About You with host Dr. Martha Latz, a lively weekly broadcast on BBM Global Network, one of the most empowering shows for time-starved, overscheduled multitaskers. The professional expertise of Dr. Latz is directly available live every Thursday at 1 p.m. to answer and address concerns about relationships, life transitions of career, meeting, dating, and committed relationships. It's All About You with Dr. Latz will expand your understanding of current and concerns across your relationships by broadening and expanding possible solutions in developing skills for mutually desired outcomes. Dr. Martha's expertise is as a licensed marriage and family therapist, life, transition coach, and all things to do with communication at work, home, and with friends. Check out her website at auniquetherapycenter.com. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations, Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach, author, and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents. As a result of a challenging journey, Carol Ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds. She also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in Fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry. Carol Ann is a popular speaker at conferences across North America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back in to Genergy Vibes. I'm your host, Jen Rustman. You're watching live right here on Bold Brave TV. Oh my gosh. So Miranda, we need to dive into some really juicy, fun, fun stuff here. And we are going to start with the stars in Hollywood. I heard a rumor that you were on a Housewives show. Can you tell us about that? And any kind of like juicy details that you're able to share? We would love to hear more about this. Yes, absolutely. And I want to share with your audience, and that is, when I first started this company, I actually had on my bucket list that I wanted to be on a housewife's segment. Before, really? 
was the Orange County. And I shared when I moved to Hollywood, Orange County, like, no, girl, no, girl, you got to be on Beverly Hills. So just last month, I was brought in for a full segment, and it's going to be aired later in May. I'm not sure which segment. So what I had is I had Kyle. I had, um, uh, you know, all, all the, the, the traditional ones. But I want to share with you just a couple of things. What I was able to share and connect is why this bunch of groups, you know, everyone, you know, there's cat fights, but there's also friendship. So I shared with this group how and why they were together. There's also one lady Ooh. who went through a public divorce. You'll know who that is. And what I saw for her future is stand still. You're going to come out stronger. And it's fierce. It's fierce. You'll see it. You'll see it out there. And she's actually going to come out strong because she actually has a big heart. Now, Lisa, Lisa, oh, my goodness. It was her launch. She has a lipstick launch. And so what I shared is what each of the ladies, what diva, what dame, what damsel they were, and also a little bit about their personality and where they were going. So make sure you stay tuned. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. And it's so amazing. She has a lipstick launch coming up. Yes, she does. I told her, out of all these ladies, you have been lips for how many years? You should have had it. And I said, I'm waiting. I've been waiting to be able to come on here and share about your lips. So It's yeah. so true. She's got the lips for days, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous woman. That is so, so fun. That had to be such a blast for you to be on that show and meet those women. You know, Absolutely. Bucket list. So whatever you do, write it down. It does. See? I know this manifestation at its best. That's amazing. And it all starts with intention, right? Mm -hmm. So I also want to address the iconic kiss, the most iconic kiss that we can possibly think of. And it came through from a message from somebody online, Marilyn Monroe. And I believe it was Kim Darling had brought this up online. So we wanted to talk about this today. There is Marilyn's kiss and what can you tell us about her kiss print, Miss Marilyn Monroe? Well, the first thing I'm going to do, because she is from beyond, is I'm going to ask permission. So we're going to go ahead and ask the angels to come to us. Here we go. So the first thing is her kiss is really wide open. But she also has the two sides closed. And right here, she has a huge divot. That is an angel to protect her. What we really want to know is who she really was. And her kiss in the very bottom is her professional. Professionally, she was, was the it girl. She had so much potential, but because she came in as a glamour girl, they never really saw her as that. But I wanna share with you, this is the part that would have made the difference. Everyone always wonders what would have happened. Her kiss, her last kiss is open. So her next part of her life would have been exactly what she wanted. She, mm. had, she was ready. But unfortunately, she trusted the wrong people. She became fearless, but careless. But she was protected. Therefore, it was her time. But just know her kiss was open. And the time she left us is a time that we were all able to connect. But she was ready to, to move, to grow. Her light, her light was snuffed too soon. Wow. What do you think like the differences between, like you said, the it girl versus like the glamour girl? Well, the glamour girl is your persona. The right. glamour is, for instance, me. This is my persona. This is my glam. But right. my everyday, I'm assertive. I am firstborn. I'm Native American. I am Latina. So this is not the glam. I am a kick butt, get things done. So there's the two parts. And so for her, she had all these strong features. She had all these strong characteristics, but it wasn't allowed to come out. Right, because it was, yeah, gotcha, because she fell into the, it was under the shadow of the, the glamour girl. Right, and back in the era of today, with pop culture and what I'm seeing, mm. it's many things that she opened up for us. But also, it's okay to have duality. It's okay that this is my persona, this is my career, but then I am a mom, a grandmother, you know, a partner, a sister, a friend. And so I don't have to be this all the time. This is my industry and who I am 99% of the time is who I am from the inside. I love that you said that. I love that you said that because especially as women, you know, giving ourselves permission 
to be all the things, to to embrace all the the facets of that make up who we are, right? Like we don't have to just be one or two. We can be all of it and we can love all of it. The good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, the light, the dark, all of it, right? Yeah, and I wanna share one prediction. Tori Spelling, I was at her beauty launch years ago and she was, what am I gonna do next? You know, she everyone knows her story. Yeah. And shared is, Tori, you are gonna be in front of millions again and you are going to perform. We're not sure what it is. She was, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I said, you will be out in the public and it's something that is one of your biggest fears. I believe last year she was in The Mass Singer. So she sang, she performed, and then her reboot came out. So again, predictions that I'm able to see, it may not be today, but I'm able to look in the future and guide you of how to get there. So I'm so excited for her. That is so cool. And it's really cool with predictions like, to, you know, get it within the realm of what is possible for it to be, but not so specific that, you know, the universe can't rearrange and, and bring it into, into form, right? Right. And I want to share with our audience about our our, our world right now. People mm-hmm. ask me about COVID. I actually was angry because my career was to take off. We were, I'm an event entertainer. COVID, mm-hmm. I have not really worked for 14 months. What it did for me is it'll and to be able to branch out. Absolutely, absolutely. It's it's changed all of us in so many ways. Um, really, really, really cool that you mentioned that. So we are actually going to take a short break to hear from our sponsors, but when we come back, we are going to dive in and you know, tone down the fun a little bit and let's let's get a little serious and hear more about Miranda's powerful creator story of going from ward of the court to CEO of the boardroom. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. So you are watching Genergy Vibes live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Dr. R.C. will share extraordinary resources and services that promote educational success as well as making a difference in the lives of all social workers as well as the lives of children, adolescents, and teens of today. She will have open discussions addressing many of the issues that we face about our youth and how being employed in the uniquely skilled profession of social work for over 18 years has taught invaluable lessons through her personal experiences. She will also provide real-life facts, examples, and personal stories that will confirm that why serving as a child advocate is extremely beneficial when addressing the needs of the whole child. Listen live to Dare to Soar, Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Network and tune in radio as Dr. RC will provide thought provoking information that will empower, encourage, and strengthen students, families, and communities across our nation. You can also visit her at soarwithkatie.com. If you're a person caring for someone living with dementia, then this program is for you. It's designed for families and friends coping with the challenges of caregiving. The foundation of care, Susan Kohler believes, is communication. Innovative Dementia Care with Susan Kohler provides strategies to keep the lines of communication open between you and your loved one, increase quality interactions, decrease the burden of daily care for you, the caregiver. Join Susan, 11 a.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network. Susan and her guests will share techniques so you can facilitate your loved one's ability to safely follow your instructions, participate in daily activities, and express daily wants and desires. To learn positive solutions, creative ideas, and practical strategies that will build a healthy foundation of care. Welcome back to Genergy Vibes. I'm your host, Jen Russman. You are watching live on Bold Brave TV. Thank you for being here with us. We are here with the incredible Miranda Anita, the official lipstick reader to these stars. We have had so much fun today talking about all the fun things about your kiss print and what it means. If you had live readings, people who called in, it was magical. So now what we'd like to do is kind of take it down a few notches and we'd really like to sink in more about 
Miranda and what you've been through. And, um, and so like I was sharing at the beginning of the show, how, when we first connected, it was very, it felt very kindred because we realized how aligned we are in so many areas. I mean, from the fact that, you know, you were, like you said, grew up in foster care, you were a foster kid. And my husband and I were foster parents and we actually adopted two of our sons out of foster care as teenagers. Uh, we had that in common, but from a you know different perspective, right? And my husband's a veteran. You're a Navy veteran. Um, we are both differently abled, right? And um, we both have trauma and PTSD as part of our story. So it was really, really important that um, I feel that we connected and that we are here together today. And one of my missions is to really bring to the public and share incredible journeys like yours from people that I consider powerful creators who have gone from point A to point Z and, and how, what it's been like for you to, to go through that. So I would love for you, if you'd be willing to share a little bit more about your story. I will. And send the energy that tears. I am not a pretty crier. I'm sure. Just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, girl, it's all good. We got you. We're with you. The first thing I want to share is what we did share together. And what I found so beautiful about Jen and her family is being a foster family and an adoption. And there was a little bit of a struggle that you were going through when you and I first met and I was doing a reading. So for you and others that are always wondering, did you do the right thing? Especially with us teenagers who are not exactly the <laughs> most kind-hearted and acceptance into your family. So what I shared is, there is I, there is me. Because families took me in, because people believed in me, I was able to live, thrive, more than survive. I joined the military. I have a family. I was on the street, got a GED, earned my bachelor's degree. I have a master's degree. I own three companies. And because a foster family, families believed in me, that is who I am. So just know many of us don't get to see the end result. But there's people like me out there. So I just want to say thank you to folks like you. Thank you, sweetheart. So a little bit about my story is that um, my mother, my mother was, is, and she's with me, was amazing and brilliant and, and so talented. But she grew up in an era that we were at a farm and everyone had to work the farm. But she was allowed to study because they saw her brilliance. She went on to go and be a TR, um, a stewardess. She worked for the White House. So she really had all these things going for her. But she didn't have the backing of her family. Her mother would say, that's the least she could do for us. She should be sending us more. This, this, this. So she felt broken. She had her first nervous breakdown in her late 20s. And she ended up giving one child away. She had me. She gave me away. She brought me back. And she had two others. We ended up being back to New Mexico. I stayed with my grandparents, and my brothers moved on. The reason I share this is because I then was put in the same circumstance of not being supported. But my mother was able to, to get treatment. We were brought back together. But because of the family nuclear um, energy, I was not able to stay there. So what I had to do is find within myself Really, what is it I want to do? My mother had another nervous breakdown. And I remember at nine, 10 years old, I got on my knees. I said, God, please, please just take her so she doesn't suffer. And I will give my life of service, whatever your desire is. It didn't happen until I was in my late 20s, but when she was taken, I felt so guilty. I felt mm -hmm. like, what was my wish? What was I thinking? And moving forward, I realized she had told me this. Miranda, I can't take care of you in this life, I know. But in the afterlife, I will show up. So she's on my left shoulder. My daughter passed two years ago of an overdose, too young. When her coffin was placed, I felt the butterfly, and therefore you'll see butterflies as my, my symbol. She landed on my right shoulder. So now I'm balanced. You have a trifecta of the Mirandas. Anita Miranda, Nora Miranda, and Miranda Foster. And that's where I sit today, is there are three of us being able to bring the service and the love and hopefully change lives. That is so, so incredibly beautiful. <laughs> and wow. So it's so powerful, Miranda. So if you had 
one, one thing to say to somebody who may be in a similar situation or a totally different situation, but they're struggling and they want to recreate themselves out of their circumstances, what would it be real quick? Believe and take action. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. We are going to take a short break to hear from our sponsors. You are watching Genergy Vibes live on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman. Do not go away because when we come back, we are going to be talking about what's next for Miranda and her kiss whisperers. And we are going to talk about a free gift that is available to all of you. Stay tuned. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. Welcome back into Genergy Vibes. I'm your host, Jen Russman. You're watching live right here on Bold Brave TV. And we are here with the official lipstick reader to the stars, Miranda Anita. And we are wrapping things up. And let's talk about what is next for you and your vision. Please tell us, what is this kiss whisperers that I've been hearing whispers about? Well, what I decided this year, again, being an event entertainer, I found that what I really have a calling is how do I branch out and share the gift to millions worldwide. So we are now creating a Kiss Whisper certification. We are launching a beta. What this means is anyone can come into my course, learn for free how to read your own lip print, tap into your intuition, how to possibly make this into a either a hobby or make this into um, an income. And that's coming up very soon. So that's the first thing that I'm doing. The second thing is we are offering for those listeners to go to the site and make sure that you sign up. The first 25, I'm going to give, we didn't talk about this, 15 minutes of an entire reading and a $50 gift certificate. So it's only for those, the first 25. That is amazing. So you've been seeing throughout the show, the website across the screen it's www.comofficiallipstickreader.com. Wait, what did I say? .com? <laughs> All right. Officiallipstickreader.com backslash kiss this. Go there, sign up. And if you're one of the first 25, you will get a free 15 minute lip reading with Miranda personally. And also have an opportunity for a gift certificate with her. That is so exciting. Thank you. You are, but you're so generous between. And don't forget about the contest. I hope you guys have been sharing out and commenting because the top sharer and commenter is going to win her free bling bling for free, her Tumblr. So exciting, your Kiss Tumblr. I love it. Thank you so, so much. So listen, Miranda, what do you need to do to close this out? You wanted to send some juju to everybody out in the that's listening and that are going yes. to come on go ahead and give everyone a reading and today you are enough you are mm. more than enough you're going to receive enough stand in your truth we are enough i love it i love it i love it and i love that it's we you know because the collective is so important we have the individual but each individual is a piece of the puzzle and we make up the energetic collective that is all that is and we are all connected Right. And so beautiful. What I love is you and I are coming to Clubhouse. We are going to be uh, joining. We are yes. classy, classy. 
stay tuned. Join us. Please. Yes, look for Sassy and Classy on Clubhouse, you guys. So listen, next week, oh my gosh, we are going to have an incredible, incredible guest, Liz Hargreaves. She's a mind-body immersion coach, health practitioner, and we are going to be having a conversation with your nervous system next week. And we are going to dive into, I've worked with her personally. I did her six month container program and we are going to dive into a very, very important conversation with your nervous system as it relates to trauma. So it's so, it's gonna be so, so incredible next week. Amanda, I, Miranda, I hope that you can tune in next week and check that out. I tune in your show every week. Yes, I, I know you do. You are a doll. Thank you for that. So yes, we. this has been incredible today. Do you have any final words that you want to share with everybody? Yes, the final words is do not let COVID take over your life. It gave you your life back. Go live, be brilliant, and take action. Mwah. I love it. I love it. Each one of us has our own brilliance inside. And that's what this show, Energy Vibes, is all about. It's all about your innate power to heal within and tapping into that powerful creator inside of you to recreate yourself out of any circumstance in any situation, no matter how bleak it seems. Miranda, you are a perfect shining example of what I just talked about. Thank you for being here. I love you. Mwah. Thank you for tuning in, you guys. It's been so much fun. You have been watching live Genergy Vibes on Bold Brave TV. I'm your host, Jen Russman, and I will see you next time. Mwah. You've been listening to Genergy Vibes with host Jen Russman. With Jen as your guide, it's time to lead yourself home to your innate power to heal within. Self-healing is your divine birthright, and the energetics of healing is your source to transformation and liberation. So tune in next week for a new beginning right here on Jen Russman's Genergy Vibes. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.